Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, going for double digits. No loss, we're way too uh, slow to get the lost, and actually we got Kane this time, as it seems like it's been effing forever since we had a Kane run. Curse of the Maze, this is the like exact situation, 2T6F lies. Uh oh, that seems like a bad start here. Um, just an, <laughs> an unfortunate omen right off the bat. We might be able to get out of this one. Kind of a tricky room. I normally like to open up my commentary with some high momentum stuff, but unfortunately, this room requires a little bit too much concentration. But anyway, we made it out. What do you think? Hail Mary, secret room right here. Hey, life's good. Now, if we can just get another bomb, we can bomb our way into that curse room for free. Because what I was going to talk about is the, um, the curse room dynamic there is very interesting. I've killed myself and ended a streak as Kane. Uh, on a different run that started very similarly. Go to the curse room right off the bat. Hey, it's early, you know? We'll go to the curse room. We can get our HP back, no problem. Go in. Two pills. Well, red chest. Two pills. One of the pills, bad trip. The other pill is not telepills. All of a sudden, you're dead. There's no way for you to get out of it. So, that's a situation that doesn't come up all that often, but I, I try to be aware of it whenever it shows up now because it's just the worst way to lose a run. To be like, well, I chose the wrong room, and as such, I am now deceased. Nasty way to go. Uh, the Spirit Heart I probably should not have picked up yet. Brief moment of uh, not necessarily paying 100% close attention, but as long as we get hit, I suppose it never matters. And maybe we'll be able to pick up more Spirit Hearts here, and I'll feel a, bit little, uh, I'll feel a little bit less ashamed of my performance if we uh, manage to make that happen. We actually got to deal with the Devil on the first floor. And yeah, uh, I can't say no to this. A free ability to fly, even if it does compromise our you know ability to survive, somewhat substantially is awesome. HP up. Speed down. Range up. Uh, that sucks, but we'll live. We're also in the, the pretty fortunate position to not only be able to fly now, but also uh, if we get one more sense, we have a very, very good chance of being able to buy a spirit heart from our uh, shop on this floor. Certainly we don't need to be at five cents to get a, a blood bank anymore. That could have killed us right there, by the way. Uh, but we don't need five cents for the blood bank anymore, considering that we don't have any HP to give it anyway. So hopefully, money. Uh, okay. That's also great. Ah, at least we're fighting Famine, and of all the Famines, it's actually Blue Famine, which gives us a Spirit Heart should we su succeed here. Now, it does mean that we're, our payout is going to be Cube of Meat, so we don't have any extra chance of, like, getting uh, an HP upgrade or an All Stats upgrade or anything like that right now, but still, I think all things considered, you'd probably end up, you know, wanting to trade positions with me on this run. Let's, uh, or you, you'd say that this run is better than average right now, even if I am in a little bit of an effed up situation as a result of, uh... You know, being one hit away from death. Please give me that spirit heart. It can't come soon enough. Much appreciated. Okay. We got ball of bandages, not keep a meat. We really need to get a uh, part of this red heart filled as soon as possible. But I love the situation that we're in now because I actually uh, can conceivably get a deal with the devil on the next floor and give my red heart for it instead of having to give spirit hearts for it, which puts us in a much, much direr state. Usually. I hate this room, man. Any room... Oh, any room this early on that survives or is difficult as a result of sheer number of enemies, if you can't, uh, if you don't have like piercing shots, homing shots, and you can't take them all out quickly, fuck. So annoying. I probably should have gotten out of this without taking damage, but to be honest with you, I think I'm just happy that I got out of the situation without taking more damage. So, uh, I'm not gonna be too concerned about the fact that maybe this wasn't 100% min-max properly. I'm kind of, you know, with the luck foot, I'm hoping that maybe we get a little bit more consistent payout from, like, uh, the stuff on the ground here. An extra bomb is a start. We'll probably use that to blow up the slot machine, which might allow me to get up uh, to the amount of money that would make it plausible for me to buy a spirit heart or even just a red heart from our shop. Whoa, careful. Uh, actually, the way that we might want to handle that to be a little safer, rather than blowing up the slot machine... There's five cents, which is nice. Ah, oh, and we got the quarter anyway. All right, so we don't need to blow up anything. Now we have 30 cents, so we will go to our shop for sure. Number one priority is... Uh, Curse of the Maze, man. Number one priority is uh, Red Heart. Number two priority is Spirit Heart, and we're going to be able to get both of those, as well as uh, there's options. So that's a pretty awesome pickup. Is there a key in there for sale? No. Okay, if there were a key for sale, I would pick it up, because I... Uh, would like to, like, it'll ruin our deal with the devil, or our uh, blood bank chance, at least in the form of an arcade, but it would give us a key. I'd rather have that, especially considering we don't have very much money. 
So we did get our arcade, which was kind of the, the analog of that situation. Probably the best thing we can do here is, uh, I'd like to keep myself above five cents if possible, but we will try to gamble on this a little bit. And we got our HP upgrade right off the bat, which is actually just incredible. Not only a huge pickup, but then we picked up a key right after that, which is going to be very, very helpful for us. Originally, I was going to say, you know, not only a huge pickup, but also for deals with the devil, could end up being very nice for us. We can now take a one heart followed by a two heart deal, which gives us a little bit more flexibility in the way that we choose to approach it. But then a key showed up, and I was like, ooh, key, you know, shiny. Not a good way to tackle that uh, situation right there. Tried to use... Ball of bandages to do damage? Who cares? We, we don't need to use ball of bandages to do damage. I mean, we're not really balling out of control here with respect to our damage, but we're fighting on the basement. We don't need to be super stacked to deal with that. Even if it takes six, seven hits to kill, you know, any enemy, it's all fine as long as, you know, there's a set number of them or, a, you know, an average number of them on the, the floor. Um, if I could just get one of you to explode into a bomb, that would be awesome. Eh, did a pretty good job. Keys are... Now sorted for us on this floor. Could even start on the guppy track and uh, we pick up a guppy's tail or something. Happy camper as far as I'm concerned. Well, our secret room is definitely not going to be there based on the fact that that explosion did not find it. Could have probably told you that anyway, but it does eliminate one possibility. And it is... I think it's probable that on this floor I'll probably end up uh, doing exactly what I did in the last floor and I'll buy another spirit heart if it looks at all risky. Hourglass is... Not good, but if we don't have another option, I can live with it, of course. Small rock for free is a great pickup. I've been uh, perhaps guilty of making fun of the small rock a little bit, or at least making light of the small rock a little bit, but then Kate told me that uh, the small rock carries the same damage upgrade that the mark does. Mark or pack, one of the two. And I was like, you know what, that, that definitely makes it a lot, uh, a lot more attractive in my eyes. So I'm excited to have gotten the the small rock there. We probably will end up going to our shop, just kind of holding off for a second. We did pick up another bomb, which is beautiful, because we can throw that there, and it's, I was going to say, pretty much got to be spirit hearts at this point, and then we're going to be fighting Monstro. Not a problem whatsoever. Want to keep the spirit hearts, because, you know, that's, that's our lifeline here for, uh, you know, after the deal with the devil. And even though we did get a deal with the devil technically on the last floor, we should get another one here. Terrible damage, but you gotta admit, it did speed the fight up a lot. <laughs> if you want to you wanna focus on the positive. I guess we take the speed upgrade that also gives us the pill. I don't know if the size down helps. And we fight Krampus. Which I would feel worse about if we didn't get uh, Lord of the Pit for free on the last floor. This way we already have deal with the devil precedent, so that's not gonna fuck us up too much. And we've, um, and we got Lump of Coal as well, which is nice. Puberty is not so good. Uh, I want to go to our curse room, actually, so... Yeah, none of those items are that advantageous, so I figured we'd basically pay a five cent tax to go to our curse room, and maybe we'll get lucky and be able to bomb our way into the secret room as well. Good, good situation to find ourselves in, more or less. I'd say I got pretty lucky to be able to find the secret room, pretty unlucky with what it ended up paying out with, but so be it. All right! Uh, I probably could have made it out of there without losing that much HP, but at least we know, you know, peace of mind. I forgot that we're not going to actually, uh, lose more HP because we are flying on the way in. Normally, this early in the game, you don't have flying. Decent situation. Didn't improve ourselves that much on that floor, but hey, lump of coal. Let's do the curse room again. It's a little early for it, but our, uh, deal with the devil odds on this floor are already shitty, so... Doesn't really matter. And uh, as much as I try to avoid it, we are going to have to do that big room. That scent could end up being of the utmost importance. This room is kind of nightmarish if you can't fly. Because we can totally fly, it's not a problem whatsoever. We might even be able to get lucky and goad these guys into shooting at us in a situation that could give us access to these mushrooms, but... Oh man, that was dumb. <laughs> Mostly I just wanted to be over. Okay. No bombs. That's fine. Probably should have used the hourglass at some point in that room, but I'm actually a little happy that we've saved it for this room because this room could be a nightmare. They're not going to be slowed forever, but they did get slowed for a while. Long enough, anyway. And uh, I took some dumb damage because one of the enemies exploded. I would love to say, oh, you know, that's bullshit. How was I supposed to know it's a champion? But I totally targeted that one because I knew it was the exploding champion. I just took myself way too close, and it, there's, no, uh, there's no real excuse for why I did that. I don't know what I was thinking. 
But I'll own up to it at the very least. You know, that's not the game being bullshit. That's uh, me not doing the best that I could have done with a, a series of very, very controllable factors. I don't know if this is the right way to handle that room, but darn it, it felt right. I guess we might as well take Eve's bird foot. Does the bird foot actually function the same way as the uh, dead bird? Where it uh, requires you to get hit before it works? I care so little about this item that I've never actually, this trinket, that I've never actually thought to wonder about it. Now, I'll admit, that time, I actually did deliberately put myself in harm's way, thinking that the ball of bandages would save me. But uh, I guess the, the hitbox was a little bit off from where I thought it was. My bad. Again, uh, not to make excuses for myself, but I don't think we had much of a deal with the Devil Chance on this floor anyway. But that's sloppy play, and, you know, sloppy play is not just bad when it's punished. Sloppy play is bad because it's bad and, and frustrating, and I should uh, smarten up about that a little bit. Just damage that didn't need to happen. Thought maybe I could slow them around that thing, and maybe I'd get lucky. Um, by that thing, of course, I mean the uh, uh, Tinted Rock where I placed a bomb. They both got trapped in the poop here. I think if we just kind of hold them here, they won't be able to get out. So, hey, Hourglass, you did some good stuff there. Much appreciated. Not that the hollow is that tough to begin with. Absolutely going to take the pentagram. We'll wait. It's a little risky, but we'll wait on um, that spirit heart. That's why it's risky. The, the teratoma do one full heart if they touch you? That's news to me. Maybe. Um... But the pentagram pickup is great. Mostly I want to make sure that we have the full spirit heart for when we go down on the next floor. And we should be safe. Like, our damage is really decent. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say it's great, but uh, it's it's really decent right now. So, I, I believe the pentagram, at least I've been told the pentagram, gives you an extra deal with the devil chance as well. Akin to, like, blowing up one beggar on each floor. So, that's pretty good. And the mind is a fantastic pickup, which... Will give us access or at least a vision of all the secret rooms and uh, it's basically like all three maps combined into one So if nothing else it, it probably means that we have the ability to save a lot of money in the shop by not picking up any of those items but it, And it seemed like doubly good because you would actually want those items to show up in the shop So it's not like it just gave us 45 cents. It's like it gave us three really great items Anyway, uh, hopefully we'll get some bombs so we can make secret rooms, you know actually usable for us in the future, but the, the mind is uh, beyond an adequate pickup, for sure. Pretty easy room there. And, uh, yeah, I think we just take the spirit heart here. You know, you could say that we should take a bomb and go look for the secret room or whatever, but... I don't think that's really something we need to do. I'm thinking about it now, though, because I'm like, you know... What, what could it possibly pay out with? I'm going to try to find a fifth cent. We're going a little slow, but... That's totally fine. I'm like, it could. what could it pay out with that's worth less than a bomb? And the answer is basically, you know, a black heart or a spirit heart. I might not pay for those, but I already just did. Or an eternal heart, that's worth more than it. Or a bunch of red hearts, which we wouldn't be able to use. It's actually a, a slightly difficult decision, but whatever. We made it, and we did get to our fifth cent. I think it was pretty clear what I was going to do based on the fact that I, while discussing it, just went down to the next floor. That wasn't an oversight. I, you know, I decided on that. These guys are annoying. There is an arcade, so I'm very happy that we have that uh, full health poop here. We'll try to remember that that's there, and maybe we'll get an HP upgrade from our boss, or maybe we should play our blood bank right away before we trade away all our HP on a deal with the devil. First things first, though, definitely going to this item room. Always forget one guy on those rooms. And that's a very easy room since we can fly, and this is an annoying room, but hopefully one that is relatively easily surmounted. Do you think there was ever a Sir, like a knight, in the Middle Ages called Sir Mounted? Because that's just a, a great pun, basically. For getting it on. And Mounted is even better, because it's like, you know, she's, she's overpowering him with lust or something like that. It makes him seem like a total player. Think about it. Or if you're, like, involved in a D&D &D campaign right now, and you've got, like, a, you know, a roguish character with some, some charm... There you go, surmounted. It's perfect. If you ever write that into a book, I uh, automatically, just by definition, thanks to copyright law, I get literally 112% of your profits. Sucks for you, I guess, but you know, that's life, basically. Stop trying to steal my intellectual works, but definitely do it. 
Uh, I didn't even talk about it, but we picked up Infestation 2. Now, considering our damage is nice, particularly as a result of that Pentagram pickup, uh, Infestation 2 is an awesome get for us. I will go back for that key, of course. Uh, Infestation 2, Kate, my wife, likes to say that she never loses with it. And I, you know, I don't know if I've ever seen her lose with it. Don't go trying to prove her wrong, that's just gonna make my life harder. But anyway, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to have this item, basically like a... I don't know if it's a better version of the Mulligan, but it's, it's close enough that I'm like, Hey, Infestation 2, it's like the Mulligan. They might as well, if they put that on the poster, and I went and saw it in theaters, I would not be disappointed with, with what happened. Uh, yeah, we'll take this. Again, we might want to gamble on the, it's a crapshoot, you know? We might have more HP after this boss fight. We might have less, depending on if there's a deal with the devil or not. But we're just going to do it right here, because we're here. And uh, I like fighting this boss, because we're probably set to get some kind of attribute upgrade. Instead of having to just, you know, get a second level ball of bandages. Not that that would be the worst thing. Chubb is pretty much dead. As is the Silkworm, and we've got a nice little fly army after as well. I think we take Squeezy here. No deal with the devil. Two extra spirit arts to insulate us so that we have a much better chance of getting a deal with the devil next time. And now we'll start uh, gambling pretty heavy on the Blood Bank here to hopefully pick up that HP upgrade that we still would want. It's not like I didn't want an HP upgrade, but we just don't necessarily need one right now. Alright, so that's a little bit of a... Um, I don't know. Like, if, if everything else for us is handled, maybe we'll go back to that area there. But uh, for now, I am more concerned with... Just getting this done. We didn't even go to our shop. We like went to it, but didn't go to it. What's wrong with me? This was not where the golden poop was. It must have been on this room. But we don't need to get that golden poop yet. Instead, let's go uh, take a trip back here. I want to go to our curse room as well, but obviously first we're going to go to our boss rush room. Boss trap. And uh, there's nine lives. Very glad I didn't pick up that HP, although we could have done this in a different way. Uh, no, I probably still would have done things the same way. We will pick up nine lives, but we won't pick it up yet. Because I do want to see if we can maybe get another blood bag out of our, uh, out of our, uh, blood bank. I almost said deal with the devil, which makes no goddamn sense. But anyway, if we get another, uh, blood bank out of our, or another blood bag out of our blood bank, then I can get nine lives and then get back to the same amount of HP. Now, it's the kind of thing that's pretty unlikely to matter, but it could make the difference between being able to take two deals with the devil and being able to only take one deal with the devil, which could be the difference between, you know, Mark Abaddon and just Abaddon. Might not seem like that big of a deal, but it, it can matter. Every run has one item that takes you over the threshold of, of the win. Are we over that threshold yet? I would I would think not. Probably. With the with the standards of my play typically. So I, I think we've got uh, we've got our work still lined up for ourselves here. Bad situation, but we got out of it just fine. I mean, minus the requisite one heart uh, loss. That room, obviously, we can just leave. This room is nice. We have some red hearts that we should probably pick up. And we should probably uh, go to our shop just to see what they have on offer. I mean, we have 11 keys. It's not like we're missing out on too much. Maybe we'll be able to pick up a PhD or something like that. But first things first, it's back to the arcade. Now, don't flip and forget about nine lives. That's the real thing here. I'm also trying to think, you know, where does the bomb go? There's an obvious way to make the bomb in the perfect spot for the secret room. Man, that is just shit luck. Okay. Come on. Pay out with something. Mostly I want the blood bag, but... I picked it up before I picked up nine lives. This is the song I sing when I'm an idiot, but my brain was in the right place. I'm just dumb sometimes. Alright. Caves 2. It's a weird decision. Nine or uh, Nuns Hab is okay for us. I think we go Pandora's box and we take it down to the womb one. The hourglass, let's be honest, I'm guilty of not using it as effectively uh, as I should. Which is basically, I'm guilty of not using it as often as I should. And now I can't get back into, oh, I already opened it, okay, thank God. So I did make a, I was thinking to myself, do I actually want to even pick up Dead Cat now? Because I have three HP, and I think the answer is yes. Not just for the guppy chances, but because of the ability to regen us, which is, you know, what it says on the tin. But anyway, uh, yeah, some poor plays there. I don't think the the um, Pandora's box pickup is one of them, though. The ability to get two boss items. Yeah, we'll check out our curse room down here. All the interesting rooms seem to be down here. Uh, the ability to pick up two boss items on the womb one is going to be extraordinary. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit higher reward to use it on the cathedral. Oh, beautiful. 
That's fine. Uh, there's our HP back. It's a bit higher reward to use it on the cathedral, but it's definitely a bit higher risk as well. Because you can get... Uh, we can't pick up that penny, excuse me. Uh, you can end up finding yourselves in a situation where you pick up something ridiculous like holy water. I'd rather just get two boss items, which are... You know, it's like going to McDonald's and they've got two items on their menu. They're like, we're out of everything, but, you know, quarter pounders with cheese and our brand new, you know, Tuscan halibut potato salad. Oh, it's beautiful. We get that item so rarely, I'm very happy to get it. And Aquarius is okay. Not great, but okay. Um, skeleton Key. This is my opportunity to make a lot of people jealous, because I know that Skeleton Key is one of those items that a lot of people say is, like, the last item that they need. So there you go, motherfuckers. I hope some of you that still need Skeleton Key or the jackass is tweeting me pictures of you getting raw liver on your lost runs, okay? Anyway, to continue with my ridiculous analogy, it's like McDonald's only has two things available. One's a dependable old standby. The other one... A potentially, you know, dubious or perhaps even sickness-inducing combination of unfamiliar flavors in an unfamiliar place. I would rather go for the guarantee. Uh, I guess we just go to the deal with the devil first. And yeah, it's two hearts, so I'm not gonna hate it, I think. Yeah, Abaddon's a great pickup. Then we pick up... What do you think? I'm left-handed, so I go for the left. Experimental treatment. Because I didn't fire, I actually, like, have no idea if that was the right call or the wrong call. I don't know. Who knows what the other slot was? Seems like maybe our rate of fire is decreased. It's basically impossible to tell what experimental treatment did to our... Uh, what do we got here? Guppy? No. It's basically impossible to tell what experimental treatment did to our damage because we just picked up Abaddon. But yeah, sure. We're, I mean, we we improved ourselves. I would hope, anyway. So, I mean, boss rush is on, in the cards for us. I was kind of hoping we fought Greed here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, it, it, you have no idea how much this pains me, but I'm gonna go do everything. Uh, and the reason I'm gonna do it is not just because, you know, I'm motivated by the fear of people yelling at me or something like that. The reason I'm gonna do it is because we do have a good chance of becoming Guppy and aggravating those people that much further. I, I, I knew what that was, I don't know why I picked it up. Um, by, by becoming Guppy, by getting like three red chests in this room, which we didn't, but we have 98 keys, so we can still get like Bob's brain or something. Uh, the moon. What do you think? Moon or stars? I think the moon, if, it, if we're going to be talking teleport cards here, I think we got to say that the moon is better because we already have 97 keys and the item room is easy to find. So, what does it matter, right? So, actually, let's, let's set a conservative goal for why I'm exploring the rest of the floor. I still think the moon's better. The reason I'm exploring the rest of the floor is to get a better trinket. That's a conservative goal that we have a fairly good chance of hoping to reach at least. We're going to get a better trinket. No offense, Eve's bird foot. You know, I appreciate uh, the contributions that you've tried to make to this run. You're just not really what we're looking for right now at uh, Northern Lion HQ. And that's not a, that's not a judgment on you. It's just uh, you're not really a much of a fit for the organization right now. Well, I mean, it is true that you're not really a fit for anyone's organization. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's not you, it's me. Totally. Totally. Red hearts galore. Not that I really care. The other thing that would be awesome, let's assume that we're already getting that trinket, because I'm pretty sure it's a foregone conclusion. But uh, it would be awesome if we can get to five cents and maybe have a chance to spawn an arcade on the next floor. I don't know. We might not even have the HP necessary to do it, but we're getting one or the other here. Yeah, there we go. Counterfeit penny. Woohoo! I told you. Conservative goals. That was not a smart play. Uh, we might not get the five cents, but we did get a trinket. We could make both happen. You know, with like one well-placed bomb right here. There you go. Five cents, baby. And a better trinket. Mildly so, but a better trinket nonetheless. Cash rules everything around me, especially with counterfeit. Eh, it does it. That's like, it's not really cream anymore, is it? Get the printer. Tomo, don't ever meow at me again. I'm just joking, buddy. How's it going? You feeling good? Having a good day? Are you jealous that Ruka has a shoebox and you don't have a shoebox? He says, I have nothing to say to you, human. So we're going to open this up. And I do have to use my own bomb here. Please, spiders, don't all sacrifice yourselves. Because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to TP the fuck out of here. We could probably use that teleport for, you know, better things later. But also, I don't want to fight those enemies. I mean, we're, we're relatively strong. But at the same time, who wants to fight a Loki and a Monstro 2 if you don't have to, you know? 
We don't gain anything out of it. Dip. Very excited to have gotten that uh, spirit heart there. Balls of I can see forever. Yeah, sure. I mean, we haven't used any bombs to find our secret rooms on this floor anyway. Child's heart doesn't seem like it's immediately going to be that valuable, but, you know, maybe if we get a lot of red hearts on this floor, I could be persuaded to think otherwise. We got lucky to get out of the way there. I thought you were dead. And that is terrible damage in my part. Range upgrade helps. Doesn't really synergize that well with Lump of Coal because we were already able to hit stuff pretty much as far away as we wanted, but hey, it's something. We did have a range downgrade earlier. I barely noticed, but let's, um, you know, retcon that to say that, oh, man, that was a real problem. So now, oh, the run is uh, it's solved. I still don't really feel comfortable. Man. I still don't really feel comfortable calling this a, a win or a loss or, or anything in between. If I had to choose, I'd say we're on the side of winning pretty much without a doubt here. Lacking a little bit. I know we have a health upgrade pill, by the way. I am intending to use it. I don't think experimental treatment fucked us at all. I don't know if it made it better for us, but it certainly didn't put us in a situation where we're like, you know, we were in a great run and now we're fucked. If anything, you know, maybe it took a, a nine run down to an eight and a half, but I didn't even notice because we picked up Abaddon right before and had zero rooms in between. So I'm not going to complain. You know, every run, or sorry, every item is playing a piece of the puzzle here. Everyone gets their name etched on the Stanley Cup, at least as long as you played in, like, four games in the playoffs or something like that. I can't remember. World card. May. Oh, that's two guppy items, dog. Now, it sucks that we, if we wanted to use Pandora's box on this floor, we don't get something that's that valuable for us. We either get um, 20 cents, which is meaningless with no shop, or we get... Four spirit hearts, which is actually really nice, but I think that's depths one. So we're going to end up abandoning Guppy's head, but I'm super thankful we got the item anyway. And I've decided we're going to take the health upgrade pill, because if I'm going to use Pandora's box on the next floor anyway, I'm going to be using it under the assumption that we're probably going to get HP. We might not, and then maybe I'll regret this decision, but, you know, some of the boss items are probably HP. So if, we, if we're functioning... Yeah, okay. We're, we're getting HP anyway. There we go. But if we're operating under the assumption that um, we're going to want, we're going to, like, get HP, we might as well take as much HP as we can get, you know? It's kind of an all-or-nothing thing. This allows us to save the world card for the next floor. I just realized, by the way, that there is no reason to have the world card because we have the mind. So instead, we will take Bad Trip, which could theoretically pull us back from that ledge, my friend, and have good times with all the lies that we've been living in. Fate was basically just an HP upgrade, but... That's, uh, that's fine by me. We're getting a little short on spirit hearts after what has been uh, a bit of a, a hemorrhaging floor for me, unfortunately. It's all right. We're at 41 cents, and we'll start to get our HP back pretty immediately. And plus, we're going to be using uh, Pandora's box right away. And maybe we'll become Guppy right now anyway. We have three different abilities to fly. No, we're not going to become Guppy immediately. That's okay. Down to the next floor. Good stuff happening so far. How fast did we do that last area? Uh, maybe like five minutes. So we got, like I said, I expected HP. We got HP. I can't be mad about this. Super bandage in particular is really good. And if we're gonna, if we're gonna get any HP, I'm glad we took the three HP that we were able to get on the last floor. Look, your clandestine teleportation is not that impressive. That's a credit card, which unfortunately is worthless for us. But your clandestine teleportation is not that effective when I can see your tractor beam underneath the freaking floor. Well, this should go without saying. If I'd known this were Envy, I um, basically would have told this room to go fuck itself and uh, commissioned SpaceX to shoot my copy of the game into the sun. They could probably do it. It's, you know, I'll just ask them to land it on a, uh, you know, a carrier somewhere in the North Atlantic. Now I realize, unfortunately, we can't actually give ourselves access to this... Uh oh, never mind. This is not the kind of room I thought it was. I thought it were? Okay. That's the last episode I'm recording for today. If I were perhaps from someplace else, I could play that off as a cute, you know, oh, he didn't mind the subjunctive. But instead, you know, I just feel really bad about my brain's inability to handle the rigors of uh, speaking, publicly or privately. Very easy finish to this room. We're almost at the HP cap. I'm hoping, and it's not a hope against hope, but uh, it... Look. I just had 98 keys. It takes a lot for me to come back there, but I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Uh, my hope is that uh, 
we get a deal with the devil on this floor. And I think it's pretty likely. And if we get a deal with the devil, we could pretty much become guppy. Uh, at this point, we're probably better off with Burnt Penny, huh? It's like the second episode in three episodes where I've uh, had the opportunity to actually use Burnt Penny somewhat effectively. It would be nice. Why do we get two bombs out of that? Am I missing something? I might be missing something. We'll definitely play Demon Judgment as well. Just want to see what this guy gives us first, so we kind of know where we stand. I think we can probably afford to use a Hanged Man card without getting anything interesting out of it. HP up. Range down. That's okay. Most important thing here is that we get the double plays. Six plays, he gives us a Spirit Heart. It's the Sun! Don't fuck this up. What's this one? Puberty. We're gonna get rid of it. Um, I need to get some HP back, but once I get this HP back, I will come back there. My thinking is I don't necessarily want to use the Sun card, but I don't mind using the Sun card because we have a bad trip for like the most dire situations. So I can use the Sun card. It's not like I can use it as a compass anyway because we already have the map. You know, anything that would fuck up the compass, it's another HP upgrade. Anything that would fuck up the compass would also fuck up the Sun, or fuck up the mind would also fuck up the Sun, so... That's what I was looking for, is a half-heart interval. I don't know if I ever got around to explaining myself, but with that half-heart interval, now we can play the shit out of this Demon Judgment, and then maybe pop the Sun card after, because we're going to be at, you know, permanent Polaroid invincibility. I don't really care about Flatworm. Maybe I'll take it just for fun. Uh, and now I'll pop the Sun card, because my previous uh, concerns have fallen out the window. What's that rune? What's that rune, dog? Burkano. Well, we can just pop that right away. Come on. Yes, okay. I do think uh, I do think it was worth it. It took a while to get there, but in the end I'm I'm happy with it. Flatworm, I do like I can't lie, I like the way it makes our tears look. And the uh, growth hormones pickup is totally fine. It's another health upgrade. Which at this point I think kind of have to decide maybe to say no to that. I need to go back, by the way. I'll try to remember. We gotta go back and get that bad trip pill. Otherwise, we might as well take the health upgrade pill. We may decide to take that anyway if we get a deal with the devil here and end up trading away, you know, 1 to 4 HP, but we'll see. Alright, uh, we want the damage. And on our deal with the devil, oh, oh, we want it. I think we want it all. That turns us into Guppy. This gives us some replenishable uh, red hearts, or sorry, spirit hearts, and also puts us in a position where, you know, we can uh, actually have a space bar item, which we didn't have before, so uh, we'll take that trip with us. This is now a one run. Guppy Death's Touch. Boom. Plus on top of all the other stuff. Abaddon. It's sold. Uh, sure, let's go to this weird double key room over here. Our flies and spiders, I forgot to even mention Infestation 2. But our, our flies and spiders are going to be doing so much damage. Wheel of Fortune. You know what, at this point, I think instead of taking Bad Trip when we only have like two red hearts, we'll take Wheel of Fortune uh, to get an extra item on the chest. And at this point, it's less of a concern about... Eh, we don't need that. It's less of a concern about like, will this help us win? And more of a concern of like, will this help us have fun? And the answer to that question is definitely yes. But we're pretty much an unstoppable machine at this point. This is uh, kind of ridiculous. That room normally would take, I don't know, maybe like at least four or five seconds. The fact that we just shit on it feels great. We didn't even do anything right there and it turned out totally fine. Now admittedly that was a bit of a misplay, did you notice it? I didn't realize we were missing red hearts, but um, if you didn't notice it, I used the nail on a room with no enemies, because I already killed the enemies. And what we should be doing, although it's likely to remain irrelevant, is using our nail as a damage bonus uh, when it's charged. But we'll wait till the next room. You know what? Flatworm's cool, but what about Wiggleworm? How does Wiggleworm look like this? It, it barely, because our tears are so big, it barely has an effect at all. I prefer Flatworm for making our tears look all weird and, you know, like a ultimate frisbee flying through the air. Sorry, Mom's Heart. This is a real bad time to be you. All right. Looking forward to the end of this run, not because it'll be over, but because this has been a really fun run so far, and we're going to hit double digits yet again. It, uh, we don't need guppy items, that's for sure. I mean, I, I'm not as uh, anal about my streak as I used to be, but it is always nice to see that number climbing higher and higher, you know, especially when it's a result of uh, 
you know, good plays, sound decisions, but also keeping that commitment to, to run absurdity and zaniness and all that jazz. So this is actually one of the situations where I'm going to break my existing rule to do that, and we'll pick up... I guess we could have used it on... We could have used it for the damage bonus on this room, but... Let's assume that we did. Now it's over. Let's move along. Don't need the bomb so much. Don't... Don't not need the bomb. But I'm going to be lazy about it, because... Well, let's be honest, I can kind of afford to be lazy about it right now. Not the most damage I've ever done, but definitely a situation in which I would be excited to pick up Tammy's head. Let's put it that way. I don't know if Tammy's head gets the effect of Flatworm, but... I don't know if that uh, matters one lick, to be honest with you. Isaac might already be dead and just, like, the signal is not transmitted to his brain yet. We're headed down with 99 keys and the ability to see exactly where we're going. As long as we don't get Curse of the Blind, literally nothing can fuck us here. That doesn't seem like Curse of the Blind. Kamikaze. Mini Mush. Uh, Dr. Fetus. Miter. And the poop. Uh, like... Butt, butt bombs. I love this run. I do. But I do have to say, as and I hate Dr. Fetus. That much has made uh, some people a little ornery with me. But I will say that considering we have, uh, you know, high rate of fire, high damage, and toxic bombs, I am somewhat tempted to take Dr. Fetus with me. But I think the way I'm going to do it is to not. I don't have many complaints about, you know, Rebirth at all. I would like to see, just for entertainment's value, I would like to see Dr. Fetus become a more useful item. You know, it, it might already be a special item, I'm not sure, but feel free to nerf its, its occurrence percentages as much as you need, you feel you need to to make that work from a game design standpoint. I would love to see it though that, you know, even if it only showed up once every 200 runs, you went like, oh, Dr. Fetus, instead of like, ugh, Dr. Fetus. As much as I like to think that I have a commitment to the zany, I'm not gonna deliberately in my estimation, ruin a run just for uh, entertainment value. Unfortunately, because I, you know, I'm keeping myself motivated here as well. All right. Easy finish, short run, very powerful, and uh, pretty much got all of the things on this one. Good cane run, and then takes us uh, around the corner on our 10 streak. A little bit less by the numbers than our last run, and that early uh, Lord of the Pit pickup was really awesome. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal, and of course, Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, but for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.